When you select a new mask option in Local Adjustments and select AI Mask, your selection options appear at the bottom of the image. From left to right, add a selection, remove a selection, add an area, remove an area, and then there's a range of predefined masks. Sky, subject, background, people, animals, flowers, etc. Let's actually add some masks. So first of all, add a new AI mask. And we're going to add a selection. In this case, I'll select the sky. And I'll explain why a little later on. We'll add another mask. And select all the grass in the foreground. Now we'll add uh, a select an area mask and we'll click and drag on the image to cover the area we want selected and you'll notice we've also got the little bush in the foreground and a few other bushes selected so I'm going to add a sub mask here and I'm going to just unmask that little bush in the foreground. You'll also notice there are some red uh, shadows around the rock in the skyline there so I'm going to add a new mask, a control point, and in this case it'll be a negative control point. And I can just pop that there, and it'll turn the red cloud to white again. And another one just on the top there, same thing, and that clears that up. So now you can see how that mask works. Quite well defined edges, again on the foreground. So the selecting of the masks is pretty accurate all over. Just select another area with a new AI mask and it works on that little bush only. That's a very quick overview of how the masking options in DxO Photo Lab 9 work. I found the predefined sky masking option a little bit hit and miss at times which is why I selected an area previously let's try it here this is on a raw file now there's the issue I faced it just selected clouds in the overall sky for me however I found that if I did it on a JPEG of the same image or the same scene it worked extremely well in fact as good as selecting it as an individual area. Just something to think about with the predefined masking in Photolab 9.